Hello everyone, welcome to our lesson number 9. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to select the hairs or how to you know cut out the hairs in Photoshop. So this is the technique which I am personally using. So you can just cut out any of the hairs if you are having a messy background or else you are having a plain background. So you can use this technique to you know cut out or select the hairs in Photoshop. So before any further ado, let's get straight into the video guys. Hello everyone, welcome to our ninth lesson of you know select in this lesson we will learn how to select the hairs from the photo or cutting out the hairs and making a duplication of that layer, right? Selecting the hairs precisely that is our you know theme or theme or the lesson title which we're gonna learn today, right? So here is the hairs which we want to select first of all. Let's so first of all we'll select the subject, right? So there are a lot of things we need to understand or uh, learn that is let's just uh, quickly we will go through the object selection tool just uh, select the rectangle tool and we're gonna select and automatically it will detect that and it will select the photo right but here let's see here everything is done right but here the hairs are not properly selected right as you can see hairs are not selected very precisely so what else you can do first of all let's make a deselection over here what else you can do so here we will just right click on it and select the select and mask option or else you can find over here that select and mask option if you are using below the version of cc that is cs6 or cs5 or cs4 version in that version you will find refine and edge tool over there to select the you know hairs you can use that refine and edge tool but here you can use refine uh, uh, sorry you can you can select and mask option to select the hair so I'll just select it and we will just see what else you can do it with now here you have to you know select the transparency to 100% make sure right now here you need to select that is refine edge brush tool and here is the plus icon right if you want to deselect but here you can select the minus but here we want to select the plus because we want to make a selection so roughly we have selected the subject right or the model but if you want to select this hairs what else we can do is select the brush tool of this second and just if you want to increase the size of the brush what we have learned is that pressing the bracket key from the keyboard it will increase the size of the brush as you can see over here or else you can increase the size of the brush on from here also but this is a shortcut key to you know increase the size now here guys all you need to do is it is very simple just roll on the edges of the model to select it yes this is really very very you know easy guys just select the edges and it will automatically detect the edges and it will make a selection as you can see we have perfectly made us edges or keenly selected these hairs now all you need to do is just right click on it and select layer by copy option and let's see or let's create a solid color or black color so that you can see so as you can see we have perfectly you know, selected this you know hairs with the help of this technique now if you want to remove this white color what else you can do is just create a new layer right click on it and create a clipping mask select the brush tool decrease the size of the brush right and now here just pick the color that is a nearest color of the hairs and just paint it with that color right just like this so this is the technique guys which i am personally using in my editing game so as you can see you have made the hairs just like this way so as you can see the difference if there was a whitish color you have removed that white color and get that perfect you know color of the hairs you can also even change the blending mode and you can try overlay or color or whatever thing you can just use this <coughs> to make your selection very easy and make it look more realistic all right so this is the one technique in a 
plain this you can use if you are you know white you have the white background so we will see in if you have a messy background like this what a, how you will be able to select this hairs or else you have like this so here also the same techniques applies so we will see in this messy photo how to select the hairs so first of all we will just go through a quick tour that is you know selecting the normally with the help of quick selection to whole photo right just make a selection rough selection on the hairs just like this way so here we have almost done right now here if i want to select the hairs what i will do is just right click on it and select select and mask option or directly press here select and mask option from the top menu just click on this and you will get this right so just select the second tool that is a refine edge brush tool click on the plus icon and just roll on the edges of this model's hairs to select those hairs very precisely right just like this way and you need to decrease the size of the brush over here don't add or increase uh, you know make a bigger size of the brush only make a minor size of the brushes and just move it around and you will be able to select those hairs very perfectly so as you can see out here you are getting that hairs details perfectly the selection is done now if I want to deselect this portion right if you want to ink uh, sorry zoom out zoom in then what else you can do is press ctrl and plus to zoom in or out zoom my out to plus press uh, ctrl plus minus to zoom out right now if I want to deselect this black dot right what I'll do is just click on the minus button over here or directly you can press alt key from the keyboard just hold it around and just click on this button so it will just make a deselection process so just this is how you have to you know make a deselection if I want to make deselect this area I'll just deselect it just press the minus key and you are done so guys this is how you know this if you can select those hairs if you have a messy background now just hit ok and you are done so you can see just right click on it and make a layer by copy or make a control plus j from the keyboard directly or command plus j so as you can see we have made a we have got that perfect hair details let's create or let's select the solid color to let's see how this actually is seen so as you can see we have made a selection process almost but here as i have taught you guys the rest of the things we need to do what else we can do is select the eraser select the soft round brush and here is the rest of the detaching happens just erase it this unwanted hairs which you don't want with the help of our unwanted fragile you know the particles or the thing with the help of soft eraser just like this way right so you need to do this rest of the things after you have made a selection process roughly you can just you know erase it just like this way all right now the next thing we gonna do is what else create a new layer right now just right click on it and create a clipping mask Select the brush tool and pick the nearest color of the hairs and just move it around on the edge and just we're gonna just paint it with that color just like this way so that you won't get that whitish effect from the background or else you can change the blending mode also to multiply or whatever you want you can just do it This is how you can you know, do this process and just merge both the layers and you are done. So we have made a perfect selection out here guys. So this is how you can use this technique to select the hairs. So I hope you will have you know learned this process of you know making a selection. So see you in the next video and we'll see the next lesson so bye bye till the next video guys till then guys be creative and be awesome